Happy Mother's Day. We're back listing our favorite mothers from TVs and movies. And uh, we brought back the ladies from the What's Been Recovery podcast. How are you all doing tonight? We're good. Great. Doing great. Thanks. <laughs> all right. Uh, we're just going to get right into it. <laughs> um, Nora, who is your number one on your list? Oh, these were supposed to be completely in order. Um, so yeah, totally. I have, well, I don't, it, this is, it was a hard pick. I have Kitty Foreman because she was the first one that I thought of from that 70s show. Yeah. Um, Cause I, I think that she like is super, super smart and like also knows when to like laugh and leave the room, but also will freak out every so often. And I feel like she's real. So I, I love Kitty Foreman. She's one of my, my faves. I, she was also on my list. Is she really? number one? No, she's not my number one. She's my number um, two. Okay. Well, so my number one I have is um, Beverly Goldberg from the Goldbergs. Um, because she's like mama bear, do anything for her kids, obnoxiously show up at the school and handle all of their problems for them. Um, not a mom that I would you know, do anything, follow anything she does like that necessarily, but they know that she, uh, she's got their back. Okay. I've actually never seen an episode of that show. Oh, it's funny. That's it's, cute. Mm -hmm. It's over, right? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how many seasons of that there was, but it was good. I have Lorelai Gilmore from mm -hmm. the Gilmore girls. Um, I didn't watch it when it aired. I binged it with my daughter um, and after she was out of high school when she was in college. And I can relate very much to her because it's her and her daughter and their best friends and they do everything together and they drink a lot of coffee and they talk really fast. And yeah, it's just a just a great <laughs> relationship. So yeah, mostly because I relate to her a lot. That's that's why she's my favorite. Okay. okay. Uh, my number one is Mrs. Gump from Forrest Gump. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah. She was great. Somebody who who's dedicated that would do anything that it takes to get their son <laughs> into school and the sacrifices she made and the confidence oh. instilled <laughs> in him. So mm -hmm. I'll so Mrs. Mostly Gump, the magic that's shoes. I'm going to, right. <laughs> Your mama sure does love you, boy. <laughs> I haven't seen that movie in so long. I wonder if it would be worth revisiting or would I be like, this yes. is stupid. No, I feel like no, that's a classic that's a good one. one. Like it's yeah. cause going like back in time, you know, mm -hmm. it's good times. All right. Uh, my first one is um, Aunt Vivian from the, sorry, the first Aunt Vivian from Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, not the second one. <laughs> right, right, right. Because um, it felt like it was a different character when they switched actresses, but the first one was like a strong presence on the mm -hmm. show. And um, I feel like that's, the, that's who Will needed to go and spend some time with. She complimented Uncle Phil's um, rage well, I think. All right. My number two was Mrs. Incredible. Interesting. Mm. Incredibles. I thought about her too. I feel like I mean she she's totally like the mama bear, but also like here hold my beer here comes. Mm -hmm. Like she gets shit done, you yes. know. Yes. Okay. But also like maintains that like I'm still your mom, little shits like fall in line. Okay, so my number two was Kitty Foreman, um, from that '70s show. Uh, which was Nora's number one. <laughs> Did think, to what she said. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, I think she, um, you know, she was a good mom to um, not only her kids, but to her kids' friends. And I like that about her. And that's the kind of mom that I uh, think that I am and hope to be is where my mm -hmm. friends of my kids would be comfortable, you know, coming over here and totally. like they're part of the family. So Yeah, that makes sense. My number two is Stifler's mom from oh. American Pie. Um, um, yeah, what, is, just... what story about you about to share with, about your son and his friends? 
<laughs> no, nothing like that but oh. I just loved that yeah she was just she just didn't give a shit and she was who she was and she was sexy and she knew it and yeah just that uh yeah she she owned it and I I love everything about Jennifer Coolidge so yeah, yeah that's fair <laughs> So my second one is also Aunt Viv from The Fresh Prince, the original one. Okay. Um, ditto to everything you said. It seems like she was like a more stronger person, woman, than yeah. the second one was. Um, yeah. So that's my number two. All right. My number two is Lois, um, who is uh, Malcolm's mom from Malcolm in the Middle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, very mm. no nonsense uh, mom, but she cared, but she was she was a little blunt. Um, but you know, such a great character. Mm-hmm. All right, my third was Claire Huxtable. Oh. She was like oh. a very like prominent piece. Like we used to watch Cosby Show all the time. I I liked the way that she was like a professional. She was like. The attorney, she knew her shit, but also she was like not gonna put up with anybody's shit either. So that was my whole thing with Claire. I liked her. My third is Morticia Adams. Which mm. which version? You know, I like the original. No, when you say original, you mean the black and white television show. The black show? and white television show. Okay. Although if I, then that's, I was torn. Not Angelica Houston. Not Angelica Houston. No. Um, Carolyn Jones was the original. Um, Morticia Adams. But then that got me, I was so torn. I don't like, I didn't like having just three. I had, I have, I had more because then I was thinking of, um, (laughs) um, the Munsters and that got me, I I got, because she's (laughs) Lily Munster. Lily Munster. She was Um, great. So, yeah, Morticia, I think, is, um, I mean, she's very stylish and poised. Mm. And I picture her and her just grace of, you know, walking around so um, gracefully. She has a ton of hobbies. She supports her kids in every crazy, weird thing that they want to participate in. Um and she wears mostly black because that's really a mostly huge black. part of your wardrobe too. It is as well, and um, fiercely protective. So another mama bear, mm-hmm. in a different kind of way. Hers involves probably you know axes and bows and arrows and things like yes, that. But yes. mm-hmm. and real bears, and probably real, real bears. bears. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yep. the uh, animal in the basement, and yep, mm-hmm. to her. I picked uh, Mama Bear to the extreme and went with Pamela Voorhees from Friday the 13th. <laughs> I am uh, right. <laughs> a huge horror fan. I love horror. I think she's one of the best killers. Um, and yeah, she she was taking revenge on what they did to her baby boy. And I fully support it. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about this one, Matt, but yeah, I didn't put her on it. She didn't make the cut. Mm-hmm. Well, because you said your favorite, uh, and not like I put Lucille Bluth on there from Arrested Development. Oh, she's <laughs> uh, so great. I, I, yeah, I, I her. Um, um, okay, Jessica Walter. There, I think. Oh, name. fucking love yeah, her. Jessica. She's the yeah, um, I love Mama her. Archer. Same fucking yeah. character, basically. <laughs> character, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, she's she's just so funny, even though. She's bad and good at the same time. Just that character uh, is just hilarious. I love her so much. <laughs> Here's some money. Go buy a Star War. Like, yeah. <laughs> and also, it's, it come, she creates your favorite gift. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was thinking about her. I was thinking about her for that because like, I use that like suggestive wink a lot. Some yeah. people <laughs> can attest to that. But, you know. Yes, uh, I can. Uh, so my pick uh i am twinkies with nora helen parr or mrs incredible so um a couple things um she is a strong mama and um she'll stand up for what she believes in like i really like that scene in the first movie when she's um arguing with her husband and like she's starting to like she slowly makes herself taller like as the conversation gets heated up and I'm like I like that but then also like uh, in the second one where 
she was less of a mom and like you got to see like what her life was before she was a mom and a wife and like that movie was basically Elastic Girl The Adventures of Elastic Girl Incredibles 2 like mm-hmm. like when she's mm-hmm. off doing missions and investigating that's dope as shit and also that ass but um <laughs> yes <laughs> that that is my also- um, <laughs> that is my pick for this list um yeah so um you ladies doing anything special for mother's day before we got out of here and also happy mother's day you all three are mothers oh, yes. thank you happy very much mother's day. i almost forgot it was mothers <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Reese and I usually hang out together mm-hmm. with our children and our mom. So it's okay. probably the plan for this year. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What about you? I usually make my children plant plants with me or plant flowers. Um, they usually try to be nice to me. And then we, as soon as uh, strawberries are ripe, we usually go strawberry picking. That's nice. Well, yeah. What about you, Matt? um i don't know i haven't thought that far ahead that's fair um yeah i'll probably just you know pop by my mom and grandmother's house you know hey how do you do here's a card oh look i brought my daughter isn't she so cute um and then i don't know like um i'll I'll probably have my daughter like you know just just scribble on this piece of paper and we'll get this to your mom you know she'll love it Mm-hmm. She she won't because right. who fucking wants little kid art? But you know how it is. Um, everybody, it's adorable. No. <laughs> they make <laughs> they churn that shit out like it's a goddamn sweatshop at school. And it's like, <laughs> what am I supposed to do with all this fucking paper? <laughs> so yeah, but yeah, happy Mother's Day to everyone out there listening, and we will be back next week. Um, to talk glorious with uh Caesar. I think that's what we're doing. Uh, so yeah, happy Mother's Day, especially to my mama. I know you're listening. Love you. Well, my mom's not listening, but hey. <laughs> <laughs>